Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this video, we're going to talk about Lua scripts. If you're not familiar with Lua scripts, they simply extend the functionality of your radio. So an Edge TX-based radio has a firmware that runs the radio itself. Lua scripts kind of complement the firmware and allows you to do things like control external modules, for example. So if you have a Radio Master Ranger Express LRS module, you can configure this module via Lua inside the radio. Lua can do other things like report on telemetry, and it can configure gyros and even flight computers. What I want to do today is show you a little bit of information about the file structure and how to manage Lua scripts on the radio so you can add and remove things that you either don't want to see on the radio or that you'd like to see on the radio. And I'm also going to show you a special little insider trick that not a lot of people know about. Before we get into the file system, I want to take a look at the radio itself. So we're going to press system. And when we do that, we're immediately brought to this tools page. And on this tool page, you can see that we've got all these different options. Configure Crossfire, DSM forward programming, ELRS. These are all Lua scripts and they reside in a very specific folder on the radio. So if you want to change these buttons, say get rid of things you might not need like this FreeSky RB30, you can simply remove the associated Lua script that goes with this button and this function is removed from the radio. Likewise, if there's something out there that you'd like to add to your radio, you can put those Lua scripts inside the tools folder on your SD card and they'll appear right here on this tools page. With that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this FreeSky GA Suite, this RB30, RB40, the FreeSky SPEC, the Graupner Hot, the Lolly RX Config, PID DSM, and the Wizard Loader. I'm going to get rid of all those because I'm never going to use them. So let me show you how to do that. We'll start by connecting a USB-C cable to the top of the radio right there. And then on the radio screen, you should be prompted for USB joystick, USB storage, or serial VCP. Since we want to access the contents of the SD card, we're going to put it on USB storage. Once your computer sees your SD card, make sure you close the window that has references to firmware bin and firmware text. You don't need to fool around in there. We're looking for a folder structure that looks something like this. You should see utilities, widgets, sounds. Folders like this indicate that you're in the right spot. Now, before we make any changes to the SD card, the first thing we're going to do is back it up. So right click on your desktop or somewhere else on your computer, make a folder. I'm going to call mine SD card. And then I'm going to grab all of these folders off of my SD card and drop them on that folder in my computer. So that way I have a backup. And in case I mess anything up, I can always take this SD card back up and put it back on my SD card and get back to where I started. Always back your SD card up first. Okay, now we've got a backup. I'll set this over to the side and we can start taking a look at the special folders inside the SD card structure where all these Lua scripts are contained. The first thing we'll do is click on the scripts folder and then tools. That's the folder that has all the scripts that show up on that tools menu. And I told you I was going to get rid of things that I don't need like this FreeSky GA suite and a handful of others. You can go ahead and delete whatever you don't want to use. Don't worry about it. You're not going to harm the radio. Just get rid of stuff that you don't want to use. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So now I've got this in a condition that I'm pretty happy with. Let's go over to the web and grab some new Lua scripts that we want to put on the radio. So we'll click on our web browser and go to the Edge TX GitHub. Don't worry, I'll put a link in the description for you. And then just scroll down and look for the Lua scripts folder. So if you click on that, the Edge TX team has done a very nice job collecting up some really interesting Lua scripts that work on Edge TX radios. So we're going to scroll down and express LRS. I deleted, but I need that one. So I want a current version. I'll click this link. And on the very first paragraph, I see a URL express LRS V3. I'll right click on that and hit save link as, and I'll just drop that right there on my desktop and the file name. I'll leave it as it comes from the browser, elrsv3.lua, and I'll just click save. 
Okay, that's the first one. Now we'll go back to the Edge TX website and look at some of the others that we can download. Yapoo does work on Edge TX. I'm not gonna install Yapoo in this video because it's a fairly involved install and kind of specialized. Not everybody's interested in this, but if you do want Yapoo, it is available and iNav telemetry is also available. I'll scroll down and let you see that one too. You can gain access to those telemetry scripts right here from the Edge TX GitHub. I do wanna grab the Fly Me to the Moon toolbox. That one looks kinda of cool. I'll click on that link and that takes me over to Robert's website. Robert is the guy who writes Fly Me to the Moon. And I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on the Get Fly Me to the Moon toolbox now. Robert advises you that he does give the software away for free, but it's driven by coffeeware. So if you like what you find on his website, you can chip in and buy him a cup of coffee. But anyway, we'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll go to the downloads page. And on the downloads page, we can see we've got Fly Me to the Moon Toolbox version 0.76. I'll click download on that one. And then we'll go back to the Edge TX website. And there's one other interesting script I thought I'd show you. And it's the Show All script. So the Show It All script, when you click on that, that'll bring you to the rcsore.com website. There's a link right here for script and instructions. Just click on that and download it. And that'll be enough for now. So the first thing I'll do is drag the Express LRS Lua script over onto the SD card and just let it go. That Express LRS Lua script is now updated. That's V3. Next, we'll install the Fly Me to the Moon toolbox. Now, this is where having a basic understanding of file structures will help you out just a little bit. There is a README file in this archive, and if you open that, there are instructions on how to install it. Robert basically says, move the unpacked scripts, widgets, and Fly Me to the Moon folders into the root of your SD card. So that's easy enough to do. One thing I have to point out though, Windows computers and Mac computers handle these types of file copies a little bit differently. On a Windows computer, we can simply drag these folders over and they'll merge. So whatever's already there will be retained and whatever's added will be added. On a Mac computer, if you do this, you'll blow away the original destination. So you'll have to copy things over folder by folder. Just be aware of that if you're on a Mac. But since I'm on Windows, I'm just gonna drag these over to the root of the SD card. I'm gonna let them rip. Okay, that wraps up the Fly Me to the Moon toolbox. So we'll close that. The next thing we'll do is install a widget that's written in Lua. We'll do that by opening up the Show It All archive and we see one script in there called main.lua. That's a widget. So if you come over to your SD card structure and click on widgets, you'll notice that there's a couple of different folders in here. We need to make one for Show It All. So I'm just gonna right click and create a new folder and we're gonna call this, we'll just call it Show It All. Now, all widget installation follows the same kind of model. You'll have to create a folder in your widgets directory and then drag a main.lua inside that folder. In the case of Fly Me to the Moon, he did that for us. So I'll take this main.lua now and I'll drag it into the show it all folder and just let it go. So far, we've cleaned up our tools menu on the radio. We've upgraded our Express LRS script from version two to version three. We've installed the Fly Me to the Moon toolbox and we've added a new widget. Let's get back to the radio and see how all this stuff works. On the radio now, we can disconnect the USB-C cable connecting the radio to the computer. Now we can click on the system button and in our tools menu, we can see that all of those superfluous scripts are out of there and I'm left with only scripts that I wanna use on my radio. Keep in mind that the Edge TX firmware sorts these scripts alphabetically. Next, we'll take a look at the Fly Me to the Moon toolbox. All I have to do is press on that icon and that'll fire up the Fly Me to the Moon toolbox little bit of a splash page. And there we go. We've got a nice graphics representation of our model. We've got our date and time over here on the left, our timer on the right, some battery voltage information. And if you have telemetry, you'll get that over here on the right-hand side and the left-hand side, depending on what telemetry sensors you actually have available on that given model. So there's the Fly Me to the Moon toolbox. This is what I mean about extending the functionality of your radio. This is not baked into Edge. Lua extends the functionality of the firmware to present your information now in a graphic format instead of the basic firmware format, which looks more like this. The next thing we'll do is take a look at the show it all widget. I'll back out of the tools page by hitting return. And then I'm gonna long press the telly button and I'm gonna add a page and I'll add that main view. And on that main view, I'm gonna select the full screen mode and I'm gonna turn all of this other stuff off. I'm just gonna get that out of the way to make room for that widget. Then I'll hit set up widgets, which brings me to a blank page. I'll press the screen and I'll have an option to select a widget. And remember that folder that we created, it was called show it all. 
that's right here, show it all 0.9. We'll click on that and we can use the default colors. We can change the background color, maybe, I don't know, to green. I don't know what it's gonna look like. So we'll just click on that and let her go. And now we've got the show it all widget on the screen. We can back out of that setup and then back to the main screen. And then I'll just hit page right and that'll fire up that show it all widget. And we can see our sticks are moving. We can see indicators for our switches as I move the SA switch up and down. So there you go, there's the show it all widget. I told you I was gonna show you an insider secret and let's get to that right now. Normally you configure an Express LRS module with an Express LRS Lua script and that works great. But did you also know that you can configure with TBS Agent Lite? It turns out they both speak the same protocol. So if you go to your tools menu and click TBS Agent Lite, you'll see that it'll see that Radio Master Ranger and if you click on it, you can gain access to all the configuration parameters of the module. The reason this is a little bit of an insider tip is because that TBS Agent Lite Lua script has got a really nice graphics representation. It just looks really good and it's very simple to understand and manipulate on the radio. So if you wanted to go in, for example, and change your max power from 50 milliwatts all the way up to 500, you can do that and then just back out and your settings will be saved. You can verify that by loading up the actual Express LRS Lua if you want. See how we just set that TX power to 500 milliwatts? There it is. That wraps up my video on managing Lua on an Edge TX based radio. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, subscribe and hit that notification bell. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and go fly something.